Hey everyone, Benjamin here and you are welcome to this fantastic Canva tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to be creating a fitness thumbnail for your YouTube video. So if this is something you want to create, stay tuned and we'll be right back after the intro. Okay, so here we are in Canva and you can see I created, um, I actually designed this yesterday, okay, and I made a whole tutorial on it. So I'm sure you would see it in my channel and um, you can also check it out after you finish watching this video. Okay, so the first thing to do to get started is to click on create a design and as usual, what you need to do is to search for thumbnail, okay. Sometimes I get to wonder why it's called thumbnail. I don't know because this is your thumb and this is your nail. So how can I don't know? But um, okay, so <laughs> that's just by the way. So what we are going to do is to click on the YouTube thumbnail, and it should give us the dimension we are looking for. Okay, so we have something like this um, open. Okay, so we need a fitness um you know a photo of anyone who's into fitness or something like that so since i'm not a fitness guru myself i don't have any photo of me you know of my muscles i don't have that so what i'm going to do is to visit this website called clip arts okay clipparts.com and um, i'm going to find fit, you know a fitness uh image from here so i just type fitness and i should find um you know nice image so you can see this looks intense you know so something intense that would attract um anyone okay so you know you, you also don't need to spend so much time so maybe you can pick this lady if you want um but this is a perfect one for me okay so i'm going to select this image over here so it will open a new page and um if you scroll down you see a download button that's what <laughs> I heard someone say recently button out the button you know so click i'm not a robot and um, it should download within some few minutes so i close this while i wait for it to download so the first thing i'm going to do is to change this color to um, a darker gray and the reason is so that anything we place on our thumbnail can be seen easily so that it can be easier you know when reading okay and since it's going to be about a fitness you know it's going to be about fitness so that's why so i click and drag my image into my design area and wait for it to load so this is what we have right now i'll just crop the side out and stretch it you know so this is what i want and i position it here okay so you can see what we are up to then the next thing is i want us to try something uh, you know before i started this tutorial i was just thinking if i am um, there's any gradient we can actually use you know i want to do something but i want to be sure if we can use a gradient because uh, sometimes it also um, adds some sort of flex okay the thing about gradient is you can't really resize how you want you know i keep searching for one like that so you see we can't really um do that so we we'll just use a regular shape and you can use a rectangle so press r on the keyboard or go into element and um in the shapes section you know shapes then you just choose a square okay so i'll resize this and rotate this a little bit okay and i pull it and pull this one so this is what we have at the moment then i right click and send it to the back then um since you know the thumbnails one thing you should know about thumbnails is you should use brighter colors okay so that it gets to attract anyone um who sees it or when anyone sees it it's able to attract their eyes easily so i can use a yellow okay or you can use a, an orange or any brighter color but just make sure you know you are not using so many bright colors in your thumbnail so i can use an orange which i think is really looking cool okay then what i'll do is i'll go into um, my text and um, click on add a heading pull it this way and um, i'm going to change this to leaks pattern you know i'm going to use the font that i can use the italic because um, when it comes to fitness normally when the, sh the text is in italic sort of it's easier to uh, you know it makes it very interesting okay so let me pull this here a little bit and stretch this down small okay so you can see leaks pattern doesn't do that so i search for mont surat okay 
and um, we can see if the classic can help us or the extra board okay so extra board can you know can help us do that so i stretch this and i can just see um you know shape your body or um perfect let me just use perfect um body okay perfect body and i use the italic so you, you need to click away then you can use italic yeah then i would also you know position it somewhere here and put it here you can see i'm just trying to rotate this thing okay okay so perfect body then i'll reduce you know because it's going too much i'll just select this and reduce the line spacing and i'll tuck it in okay so you can see perfect body shape then we align all to the left okay and increase the size so you can see what we are trying to create okay if we want we can pull this more okay so that uh, we can have yeah, our text bigger yeah so once we do this the other thing we can do is because we are saying we want to see 10 tips for you know um perfect body shape or you can use any text at all you want to so i'll duplicate this one okay this text so i just click on it and click on the duplicate button we have over here then i reduce the size of it and pull it to the top okay but i'm going to change the color of this to white okay so i wish you know with canva you could you know do the slanting um text i think there's something like that so let's go into element and see if we we'll find um something like that quickly so that we can um use that so i would scroll down um to see if i would find anything like that so uh no this okay so we have this which i think we can use okay yeah so i think we can use this let's see how it works if it doesn't work we'll still change it okay because this is a tutorial and i know yeah it's not a perfect tutorial we it's me and you designing together even though yeah i know you're still trying to learn something but you know, after all i i don't know it also sometimes i even learn while i'm recording <laughs> okay so pardon me if this is not a perfect tutorial you were looking for okay so i can stretch this and rotate it more how i wish canva had you know a rotation um you know section that you can just you know if you want to rotate maybe to 90 degrees you just maybe click rotation then you just enter 19 okay so that it makes it easier because trying to use this thing to rotate sometimes i it's just so annoying to me ah i'm, I'm, I'm just so angry right now so yeah that's just by the way <laughs> you can get angry but at the end of the day we still use canva <laughs> yeah so i duplicate and i can see 10 tips okay for then i stretch it like this put it here okay then maybe i reduce this okay so 10 10 tips for um the perfect body okay so we are going to do something crazy if i should say okay we'll add a line and the line you know with this line we are going to rotate it okay something like this then okay so i'll reduce okay and i'll pull this up and you can do this if you want to but if you don't no it's cool i know most of the times uh a lot of us don't like to do extra stuff so it's still fine okay so you can see i duplicated the line okay then i would stick it close to this like you know so it will be like twins now change one of them to the orange then i can select them and group you get it so when i position it here you can see what i'm trying to do so i can duplicate it 
oh no not to rotate because we want all of them to be the same so mm -hmm. now you get it <laughs> tell me you don't like it tell me you do not like it you like the idea right uh huh so you can put it on all text if yeah wonder you get it <laughs> i knew i'd <would> catch you <laughs> so i'm just going to duplicate um i feel like speeding up this process should i i'll speed up the process yes so this is what we have at the moment and um what we are going to do next is to you know put some few um shapes here and there you know because it's fitness it's like everything about fitness is slanted that's what i realized and i don't know if you also realize the same thing but i can put this here right click send to back duplicate it um reduce this one more you know put it here right click send to back and um, yeah, i think this one is cool then maybe i can um add maybe the like button so i search for maybe subscribe something like that okay subscribe and um yeah so we have ah look this is what i just don't understand about canva you these things can easily be created in look i'm even angry I, i'll create it myself I wouldn't pay for pro version because of because of this this come on man so i'll just change the color to red add the text and i write subscribe so subscribe and i'll change the color to white after all i can make it myself without even uh paying for it And I can position it here. And I can bring a cursor. Okay, so I can type C U R S O R. Mm. So you have the free one. Let me use the free one because we are not really um, focused on. Yeah, we just want something that will make it look real. So, you know. And I'll add a line by pressing L, rotate it a little bit, 10 degrees, and I'll reduce, you know, positioning here. You know, it's still not uh, rotate. Come on, look, it's even good you're watching this tutorial so that you understand that it's not because I didn't want to make it um, perfect, you know, in terms of the line here. It's rather because um, the rotation thing was disturbing me. Okay, so I duplicate again, bring this here, and um, stretch it. You get it, and maybe I can right click and send this to back. And this is what we have at the moment. Okay, maybe I can put it. Uh, let me just take it off because it's like too much yeah, so this is what i have over here and um, i hope you enjoyed creating hmm, i'm thinking about something um let me just increase the size of this okay so yes i'm satisfied now i hope you enjoyed this the name is benjamin and i will see you in my next video remember there is no limit to crazy be <laughs>